Hi everyone, Mark Donovan from Falcon Imagery. I wanted to go over a question that keeps coming up on whether or not you can legally fly your drone under Class B and Class C uh, airspace shelves. The simple answer is maybe. And I'll explain in detail um, what things you need to consider on whether or not you can legally fly underneath those shelves or whether or not you need to apply for an FAA waiver or authorization to fly underneath those shelves. So to answer the question of whether or not you can fly underneath the shelves of Class B and Class C e airspace, I'm going to show this example. This is at Manchester Airport, Manchester, New Hampshire. It has a five-mile center core. It's a Class C e airspace airport. Um, and then it has a five to ten mile radius uh, shelf that extends outwards. Um, and you'll notice a couple things here. First of all, the center core goes from the surface to 4,300 feet MSL. The base of the shelf uh, varies depending where you are around the core center of the airport. In here, it starts out at 2,500 feet MSL, 2,000 feet MSL, and back to 2,500 feet MSL, and down to 1,500 feet MSL. You'll also notice we've got two airports, Nashua Airport and Concord Airport. Concord Airport has a dash line ring around it. This means Class E down to the surface. Similarly, if you look at Nashua, this is a Class, class D airport. It goes from the surface to 2,700 feet or until it abuts the base of the Class C Charlie Manchester Airport, 2,500 feet. You'll also notice there's some rectangular dash tabs here. These are Class E. Um, um, airspace to the surface. You see it here, and you see it on the here as well, and you see another um, area as well underneath Class C that's associated with the Nashua Airport. So, to answer the question of whether or not you can fly a drone underneath the Class B or C shelf, you really need to look at the the areas of the shelf before making a final assessment. If I was going to fly a drone here, I'd have no problem flying underneath the Class shelf, only going to 400 feet, because um, I've, I'm within or outside this uh, dash D surface Class E airspace, um, without, without outside of this Class E airspace to the surface, and the starting elevation is 2,500 MSL for this region. Similarly, I could have flown my drone over here in a little window in here without hitting that dashed area line. The other thing to keep in mind is that uh, Class E airspace can um, go as low as 700 AGL for starting. Um, it can also go as low as 1,200 feet AGL. Based on these thick magenta lines that you kind of see here, uh, this indicates that the Class E airspace um, in this region goes down to 700 AGL, and then below that is Class G, with the exception of the areas that are in the dashed magenta lines. That's where Class E is going down to the surface. So if you want to fly a drone in certain regions, under Class B or Class C shelf, inspect to see if there's any Class C going down to the surface or Class D um, airspace or, or other airspace that would prevent you. Um, if there is none, you're all set. You can fly the drone in those areas without requiring a, a waiver and authorization. If, however, you want to fly a drone, let's say, up in this area, for example, in this case, Manchester, New Hampshire, you would have to uh, apply for a waiver uh, to fly in that Class C airspace and underneath that Class C airspace of the Manchester Airport because the Class C goes all the way to the ground. So hopefully that answers your questions on whether or not you can fly underneath the shelves of Class B and Class C airspace. Um, if you have other questions related to Part 107 and flying drones safely and legally, uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel here um, or also visit falconimagery.com.